survivors of the Brussels terror attacks is reunited with his young daughters. Now, this follows an earlier family reunion about a week after the attacks. What is it doing? <laughs> yeah. You can't do that to me. <laughs> That was quite a moment. CBS News cameras captured some family members. That was his dad surprising an emotional Sebastian Bellin in a Brussels hospital room. Bellin is a former basketball pro who now lives in Michigan. He was badly hurt in the March airport bombings. His family is a constant source of comfort as he recovers. Only on CBS This Morning, Vladimir Dudier of our digital network CBSN shows us this latest reunion. Vlad, good morning. Good morning. Sebastian Benin's daughters, Cecilia and Vanessa, are the center of his universe. When his wife Sarah first visited him a month ago, they stayed home so they wouldn't miss school. But on Sunday, they made the trek from Michigan to Brussels to see their papa. You're about to die. And you just, you're like, no, 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 no. And when we first met no Sebastian Benin two days after the attacks, he told us it was his two daughters that gave him the strength to survive. I'm thinking, I, I gotta make it, I gotta make it, I gotta make it, I gotta make it, I gotta see my daughters again, I, I, gotta, I gotta see my girls. Where are you going now? To the hospital. 41 days later, he finally got his wish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Bella, his wife Sarah, and their two kids were together again. I didn't want them to grow up without a dad. You know, everything worked out. Everything worked out for the best. You know, I, I'm keeping my legs. I'm alive. And my, my two little girls just uh, walked into the room. So everything's going to be all right. Girls, come here. I haven't had enough hugs. Seven-year-old Cecilia and four-year-old Vanessa quickly made themselves at home. Glued to you. I'm getting glued to you. Climbing on their dad and coloring his cast. Dad. Dad! <laughs> they had Skype with their father from their home in Michigan. But Sunday marked the first time the girls saw him in person. I think kids need to touch to see the actual cast, to touch it. You know, it, they see that their dad is getting better. In the month since the bombs left Benin broken and bleeding on the airport floor, he's undergone five surgeries, and his recovery is progressing well. But reflecting on what happened is still difficult. Life is just, you know, it's, it's on threads. It's, um... <sighs> yeah. you, need, you need a lot of luck in these situations. Luck and his family by his side. When you get out of something like this alive, you feel pretty confident. You feel pretty confident that you can over overcome anything. Because if, if, if you can beat this, you can beat anything. Benet is still unable to walk or even stand up. He has one more scheduled surgery for May 12th to repair his broken tibia. The family will then decide whether he should stay in Belgium until he fully recovers or to come home. It's such wow. a great moment. I'm so thankful that he allowed us to be there to see yeah. that moment. Just the way he's playing with his daughter's hair and the hug that he gave her. He's right. Kids do need to, everybody needs to touch Everybody though, does. Actually. He's the kind of person when you meet, you know, the energy, the positive energy, yes. even in the days after the attack, I've never felt anything like it. Yeah. He gives a lot of credit to luck, too, then. Yeah, he absolutely does. He absolutely does. Thank mm -hmm. you, Vlad. Thank you. Thank you. Really nice.